Are you one of those people that tends to get off track? You have a goal in mind. You want to be successful. You believe in yourself, but there's external things that are happening around us that get in the way and don't get us to our goal. If that's you, come on and watch this video because I am going to share some personal experiences with you. Hey friends, Liz here with Film Fulfilled, and I wanted to chat with you today about external influences when you're on the start solution. Because as we all know, there is no perfect world of having everything aligned to be able to be successful when eating this way. So come along today and I'm going to share with you just kind of my experience with outside influences and how I'm able to stay on track on the start solution. All right, here it goes. You know, when I first started on the starch solution, my husband was not eating this way, but eventually he saw my progress and success that I was having. So he willingly to some degree said he would start eating this way, which I was so excited about and thrilled. I just, I was like beyond myself and he did it for quite a few months, but he is no longer doing it. And there's no really reason why. He just went back to his old ways. And I hear from many of you in my Instagram messages, comments and so forth, that that is a real thing. And I really wanna encourage you in this video that there are ways and workarounds around how to be successful eating this way with so many external influences. And what I mean by that is it's people, it's the food available, and it's also having things so convenient. And, you know, for me, I don't leave the house a lot, so we don't eat out a lot. So I don't have that external influence of restaurants and things like that where a lot of you do. You, you go to a restaurant and you try to be compliant, but it's so hard because that oil sneaks in almost every single time. It's so hard to get away from it. So I completely understand the struggle and it can be so hard and it can feel defeating. Oil sneaks in. If you go to the grocery store, labels are deceiving. They say it's healthy. You look in it, there's maybe 20 ingredients, there's added oil, there's added just so many things that we just don't need to be consuming. And so I really want you to think about how you can navigate your way through these things that I'm talking about. And then also people, the people around us, we love them and we want them to be on our journey. But once again, not everybody is going to want to be on this journey. It's not worth trying to make it work when that person just doesn't want to do it, right? So that's okay. I make my own meals. My husband has his own meals. I do make his meals. And so I just try to make it, you know, as convenient for me to be able to make his meals and he eats his and I eat mine. And we just don't let that ruin our meal time and the time we spend together. So you just have to be able to work around the people around us that love us and that we love them, but just know that you may be on a different path than your loved one and that's okay, but try to make it work out. And as far as the grocery store, there is so much junk in the food. And I think as consumers, it's really important that we see what's in our foods. And that's really why I'm always going on the outside of the grocery store, mostly grabbing my produce and just always checking if there is a label on food, checking to see what is in the food that you are buying. 
I have said this in other videos that I will have a product and love a product and then I go back six months later and I see the product has now added oil to it. It was fine without the oil. It tasted delicious without the oil. And now I cannot have the product because it has oil in it. It's frustrating, I understand. So it's just really important as consumers that we dig in and we investigate and really find out what is in the food that we are purchasing and we are picking up at the grocery store. As far as eating out, we are social creatures. And I know for me, I like to go out and have dinner with my husband every once in a while. I enjoy that. And I also don't want people to feel like they can't have that part of their life anymore. And for me, I always look at the menu ahead of time, see what I can do that is the best case scenario. So I'll give you an example. We go to a local brewery and they have a veggie burger and I know that it has oil in it. So what do I get? I get the veggie burger and I just know there's gonna be oil in it, but that's the only option for me. So I get it knowing that there's a little bit of oil. Do I go a lot? No, but I go because I want to enjoy my time with my husband and I wanna have date nights with him. And so I will go and just know going into it that that's the scenario. We also go to a local pizza place, so I get a no cheese pizza. They usually add oil on the top and I ask them, just no oil? And they're totally fine with it. And they don't have oil in their dough or their sauce, so it's perfect. Is it like 100% compliant that I know of? I would like to say so, but once again, when you go out, you sometimes won't know everything that's in the food and that's okay. Give yourself grace because if you don't, this lifestyle can be a little challenging to navigate because of the outside influences that we have around us. So I'm wishing you the best success in understanding how we need to navigate this lifestyle so that we are successful in this. And that's one of the reasons I brought the journal to market. I came out with a 365 day journal that you can start at any time in your journey. You can fill in the dates, the months, and so forth. And this really is a beautiful guide on writing yourself a love letter and understanding how to prepare and how to be successful eating this way. We are working currently on getting it onto Amazon so that you can purchase this. And I just couldn't be more thrilled with how this book slash journal came out. And I will be running another challenge July 1st. So what you need to do to enter the challenge is purchase the journal and you are going to get into a private Slack channel. Slack is an app, it's a communication tool, and it's a community. It's my community where I bring like-minded individuals together that are focused on eating this way and want to empower one another. So I couldn't be more excited to have this journal. I would love for you to get your hands on it and join my challenge starting July 1st. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, but I would love to see you in there. I would love to see you be very, very successful on the Start Solution. And for me, I'm continuing to learn on this journey and I love being able to share the information with you that I've been successful with and I'm learning so much from you all. So I appreciate you being here, watching my videos and just pouring into one another if you are in my community. So remember, the next time you have external things or problems or anything that comes to mind that's setting you away from your goal or setting you away from being on the start solution. Think about how you can take that and create a solution or give yourself a little bit of grace in this journey because for me, I'm in this for the long haul. So I'm going to have ups and downs along the way, but I always come back to my journal and align myself with 
all of the possibilities that are out there to give myself feedback, to write down the things that are important to me and to keep me accountable. And that really has been the key to my success is keeping myself accountable. But I had to figure out how to go about doing that. So I took the last two years of all the knowledge and what I did to be successful and I put it into this journal and I'm so excited to share it with you all. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you a little oomph in your journey because I understand there are so many things around us happening and it really can be hard to stay on track. So I hope these tips and just some backstory about my journey have been helpful to you. I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment below, tell me what you may be struggling with right now. And best yet, subscribe to my channel for more videos coming your way. I'll see you next time.